it is the chapter for class 6 chapter 1 sets here we have the de definition sets in mathematics a set means a well defined collection of objects the term well defined means that there should be no uncertainty about which object belongs to the set and which is not now write the examples after the definition the set of natural numbers from 1 till 10 answer n is equals to bracket 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 bracket close 2. The set of whole numbers from 0 till 10. Answer. Capital W is equals to bracket 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 3. The set of integers, negative and positive real numbers. Answer. Z is equals to minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. 4. The set of even numbers. Answer. E is equals to bracket 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. 5. The set of odd numbers. Answer. O is equals to bracket 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. After, after writing the definition of sets, then write types of sets. Number 1, finite set. Number 2, infinite set. Number 3, empty, void, null set. Number 4, singleton or one unit set. Number 5, equal set. Number 6, equivalent set. Number 7, subset. And number 8, proper and improper subsets finite set a set is said to be finite if it has no definite number of elements in it that is its elements can be counted example a continents in the world there are only seven continents in the world so it is finite set b factors of 10 1 2 5 and 10 there are four factors so it is a finite set natural numbers less than 55 it is the limit of 55 so it is the finite set infinite set a set is said to be infinite if it has an unlimited number of elements. The elements of an infinite set cannot be counted and the process of counting never comes to an end. Example for infinite set is number 1. N is equal to stars in the sky. We cannot count stars. So it is an infinite set h multiples of 10 so multiple means table so from which number you can stop you cannot say so it is a finite infinite set j number of trees in the world because the world has countless trees so it is an infinite set empty void null set a set which contains no element in it is called a null set or void set or an empty set it is denoted by a pair of curly braces with none of the elements in it or by the symbol phi pronounced as phi here it is mentioned in blue highlighted 
letters singleton or one unit set a set containing exactly one element is called a singleton set example for singleton set is a only even prime number which is 2 b nobel prize winner of pakistan dr abdul salam it is a singleton set equal set the two sets are said to be equal if the element of both the sets are identical that is any element of a is an element of b and any element of b is an element of a here we have the example in blue highlighted a is equals to t e a and b set has e a t the element of set a and b are identical so symbolically we can write a is equals to b equivalent set the two sets are said to be equivalent if the cardinal number of both the sets are equal here we have the example for a prime numbers less than 4 prime numbers less than 4 are only 2 and 3 so cardinal number we can write n bracket a bracket close is equals to 2 another example of b is equals to all the factors of 3 the factors of 3 are only 1 and the number itself 3 so cardinal number is written by n bracket b bracket close is equals to 2 a and b are equivalent set because they both have two elements cardinal numbers the cardinal number of a finite set is the number of distinct elements in the given set example c is equals to 1 2 3 4 5 C has five elements in it. The cardinal number of set C is equals to five. Symbolically, we can write n bracket C bracket close is equals to five. Subset set A is a subset of set B. If each element of set A is also an element of set B. for example a is equals to set a has 1 and 2 and set b has 1 2 and 3 every element of set a is present also in set b so that a is small and b is big set a is the subset of set b symbolically we can write a subset b superset set b is a superset of set a if each element of set a is also an element of set b For example a has 1 and 2 and b set has 1 2 and 3 every element of set a is present also in set b so that A is small and B is big, so that set B is the super set of set A. Symbolically, we can write B super set A. Proper and improper subset. A is a proper subset of B implies that A is contained in B and there is no element. of b that is not an element of a symbolically we can write a is the proper subset of b 
here is the summary of set symbols you can easily learn from it 